my name is Kat and today I'm doing a book haul. So it's that time again. You know, when the books have just been accumulating on my desk and now I need to haul them so I can start a new pile for the next book haul. It's a never ending cycle. I have 12 books to show you guys today, so let's get started. So first up I have here The Call by Patter O'Gillen. This was the Booksplosion Book of the Month pick for September. We are working with Scholastic this month. I have already read this book and I'll be talking about it more in my September wrap up, but the live show has also already happened. So I'll link that down below if you want to know more. This is one of the creepiest, most horrifying books I have ever read and I loved every minute of it. If you're looking for a scary Halloween read, this this. But again, I'll get into more details in my wrap up coming soon. Next up I have here Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. This is the first book in a fantasy series and I don't know a ton about it aside from School of Assassins and Revenge Plot and Jay Kristoff. Like that was enough to sell me on it. I loved Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, but I haven't yet read anything by Jay Kristoff solo. So I am really excited to give this a go. Gonna give it a go. Oh! Next up I have here Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova. I received this copy from the publisher Sourcebooks who I'm working with this month and this is a pretty recent release. It just came out in the beginning of September. This is about a teenage girl named Alex who is a bruja. She's the most powerful witch in a generation but she hates magic. In fact, she hates magic so much that she decides to do a spell to get rid of her power, but the spell backfires and instead her entire family vanishes. So now she has to embark on this quest with a boy she can't trust in order to hopefully get her family back. Between the magic and the family relationships and this journey into a dark, twisted, wonderland-esque world. This sounds awesome and I've seen some reviews from people who really loved it so yeah, I gotta read this. Then I have here Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Another book that I just talked about in my September releases video so I'm not gonna get into too much detail and also I can't get into too much detail because it is the second book in a duology. It's the finale, the conclusion. I love the pages. They're so red and the book is like black there and red there. It just looks badass. I haven't even started this book yet, but I will be reading it soon. I'm only a little bit nervous because I'm always nervous going into a finale, especially when I love the first book as much as I love Six of Crows. I've been like blogging out any mention of this book on social media because I don't want to be spoiled. But what I have seen of people talking about this is that they enjoyed it. It was a good finale. So that has me very excited to read this soon. Next up is A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clues. This is actually an arc that I received from Penguin Random House who I'm working with this month. I'm probably going to go buy a physical copy of this book because not only is the cover gorgeous, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this. It takes place in Victorian London, there's a magical academy, and we follow the first female sorcerer in ages who may or may not be the chosen one. I love it when authors kind of turn the chosen one trope on its head, so this just sounds awesome. Next up I have here Between Worlds by Skip Brittenham and I received this copy from Anomaly Productions who I'm working with this month. This is another book that I just talked about in my September releases video so I'm not gonna get into too much detail now but basically it's about these two teenagers who are bored with their everyday lives and they wish to be in a world full of magic and adventure and that wish comes true and that's when things get crazy. I mentioned in that last video that this book has full color illustrations, but what I didn't mention was that there's actually an app that you can use while reading this book. You know how when you're playing Pokemon Go and it uses like the augmented reality, so there's like a Pikachu on your kitchen table. The app for this book uses a similar technology, so when you point it 
at some of these illustrations, like, they become 3D and, like, cool things happen. It's not necessary to use this app while you read the book. Like, the story is still enjoyable without that extra stuff, but that extra stuff does sound pretty cool. Next up, I have here Night Film by Marisha Pessel. And I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that name. When I went to New York back in August, I, of course, had to go to the Strand bookstore. I went with my friends Emma and Michael, and Emma recommended this book, so I had to pick it up. I also had to buy this awesome shirt. Like, come on, get lit! Like, books, not inebriation. It's harder to read books if you're inebriated. Trust me, I've tried. Anyways, I have read some adult thrillers that I loved, like the Robert Galbraith books and some Gillian Flynn, so this seemed like a solid choice to continue this reading venture in the mystery thriller genre. Next up, I have here Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. This is the fifth book in the Throne of Glass series, and I can't talk about it because of spoilers, but this is another one that I have already read and I will be discussing further in my wrap up coming soon. Next up I have here The Bronze Key by Holly Black and Cassie Clare and this is the third book in the Magisterium series. I can't talk about the synopsis much because of spoilers, but I really enjoyed the first two books and I had to get the third. I think this is the only middle grade series that I'm keeping up with. Both of these authors are just really good at like subverting your expectations and I've just been pleasantly surprised with the other two books and I'm expecting that to continue with this third one. Now, the final three books I have here were actually a gift from Richard who previously sent me the first installment of the Attack on Titan manga along with some cutting boards because my kitchen is severely understocked. This time around he sent me Attack on Titan installments number two and three, Mindy Kaling's Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me, and also a can opener <laughs> because I didn't have a can opener because my kitchen is severely understocked. So Richard, thank you again for helping to grow my book collection and also to supply me with necessary kitchen tools that any adult human needs. Thank you. <laughs> all right, that is it. Those are all of the books for this haul today. And that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great night and I will have another video up soon. So I will see you then. Goodbye.